this video I'll be demonstrating lighting an LED with one wire off a Jewel Thief circuit. These one wire power systems work best with a high voltage but you can't really examine them with an oscilloscope. And I showed lighting this fluorescent capacitor antenna with the high voltage off a Slayer a while back. This Jewel Thief circuit I'm using 4 volts and 90 milliamps but that high power is really not what we're looking at. It's just to get the LED going so you can examine this circuit to scale up a one wire system. So I'll show a diagram of the circuit. The LED I have here, one LED, you can see if I hold it, lights up, so you become the antenna. Now if I reverse the LED, it also lights up, but it's not as bright, so there's something going on there. And what I think is happening is the LED becomes a spark gap and also a zener diode at high frequencies. One of the things the pioneers in electricity learned was that high frequency and high voltage can pass through any dielectric. Now here I have two LEDs connected opposite of each other for an AC configuration. And they both light up. And this is the resistor and diode configuration. If I hold it on the negative side of the LED, it also lights up. Here I have the Jewel Thief connected up to a few batteries in series. And you can see if I hold the one wire, the two LEDs in the AC configuration both light. Now if I lower the voltage and connect across the resistor both LEDs light but one's not as bright as the other I imagine that's from some kind of capacitance from the base or else there's some kind of leakage going on there and if I go to the emitter get the same thing one's brighter than the other but they're both lit if I go base to emitter, I only get one LED. There's no AC oscillation there. Thanks for watching.